In this video, I'm gonna rank 20 AI startup ideas on a tier list. And this was inspired by Y Combinator's request for startups for spring 2025. They just published this blog post and it's got a bunch of very specific ideas of companies that are worth working on in 2025. And big surprise, they're pretty much all related to AI and they're pretty much all scalable tech plays. So that is exactly the type of jobs that we're gonna be creating and ranking in this video. Now I'm really curious what you'll think about these ideas and how you would rank all of them. If you want to skip right to the part where I start doing the tier list stuff, you can see a timestamp for that in the video um, bar. So I'm going to start by actually grabbing all the content from this blog post and we're going to use this in order to uh, inform our language model because I want to generate a bunch of ideas for startups based on this. And I'm going to say uh, blog post like this. Prompt, I'm going to show you the request for startups blog post based on these topics, come up with at list of 20 startup ideas focus on scalable AI technology plays. All right, now I'm going to say randomize these, format them into a MARP markdown presentation. And I've given it a bit of a format for this. We're going to use this presentation um, in order to walk through our tier list. But I want to create emojis for this. The emojis are going to represent the ideas. That's how we're going to rank these on the tier list. So now I'm asking ChatGPT to extract all the emojis into a list because I'm going to need to download these files. I'm going to copy this code. This is my presentation. So let me just paste that in here. So let's try and render this. All right, so here's the presentation we just generated and there's 20 pages and yeah, we're gonna go through all these ideas. Okay, so I'll go back to the start and the next thing I need to do is prep these emojis and prep our presentation. So I've got them all extracted here and let's go back and I'm gonna paste them into here. Um, now some of these are looking kind of funky so I don't know if this is going to work, but I have a script to uh, download all these emojis. Let's give that a shot. All right, it's working through that. Here's how the script works. It just grabs them from this GitHub rep repository. And I'm sort of looking up the code points for the emojis and using that to generate URLs and making these requests. So if any of them fail, it'll tell me they failed to download. They should be in the emojis folder. Nice. Okay, here they are here. And yeah, so, okay, so I'm going to throw these into my, uh, my presentation. Okay, I'm building out this template. Let's grab all these ones. Okay, we're ready to go. I got my AI startup ideas tier list presentation. First idea, AI personal health coach. An AI agent, pers yeah, I like this, health advice, meal planning, workout routines, based on personal wearables. Okay, there's some data uh, access issues. Um, I'm sure people have already done this as well, but um, yeah, these coaches, pers I like this idea. Mm, it's a B to C play. Mm, selling to the consumer is hard. I like B to B stuff better. So this strong guy is going C. We're doing C with this one. Okay, next. AI powered remote work assistant automates scheduling, task prioritization, time tracking. Yeah, people, this uh, time tracking sucks. Uh, nobody likes tracking their time. Scheduling sucks, but that's a problem that's mm, uh, sort of been solved, but no, that could be better. Task prioritization, integrating with projects. So integrations are gonna be hard. There's a lot of privacy concerns with this guy, but it would, this would be a game changer. This could also be good to be acquired by like Slack, by these tools. Like they would want to acquire you if you were able to do this type of thing really well. Mm, I'll go B tier. Okay. AI powered continuous audit platform for e-commerce. Continuous, I like audits. I like auditing the use case. Continuously audits online stores for compliance with financial, yeah, compliance, compliance sucks, right? I, this sucks, no one wants to do this stuff. Like who wants to go do tax? Like accountants don't like being accountants. So they like certain parts of the job, I think, but overall, like who's hyped about tax law? Like, I don't, I don't get that. So same with data privacy. Okay, so um, yeah, so obviously this is, this is huge. Continuous audit for e-commerce specifically. I like audits. Um, I like the use case, but I don't really get the e-commerce thing going on here. Uh, because real-time e-commerce, I, I don't know. Maybe I don't have enough experience. I'm gonna throw it C tier uh, because it might just be my ignorance, but I don't really get how we're gonna measure to do this for e-com. I don't really get it. 
AI optimized code generator for GPUs. Okay, this just sounds like something dumb that a language model would come up with. Uh, an AI agent that generates and optimizes hardware level code for non-NVIDIA GPUs. Okay, democratizing access to high performance beyond CUDA. I, I, I'm just, we're doing D. I'm just Ding that. I'm just Ding that tier. Okay, AI powered browser automation toolkit. Whoa, a SaaS product that allows users to automate complex web based workflows. This reminds me of uh, Test Rigor, which is like this automated test suite for web applications, um, which is doing really well. Uh, and they're here in Toronto uh, using simple natural language prompts with, okay, that's good. You automate web-based workflow scraping data entry. I like this. I like this a lot. Actually, I've thought of an idea similar to this that's like for BI tools. So if you don't know how to use a BI tool, a certain report, imagine um, an executive hops into a report and then their mouse gets controlled for them. Like the AI controls their mouse and starts clicking and they can maybe interact with speaking to the computer. So, okay, so I like this. I like this type of idea. In terms of the exact use case, Mm, yeah, I'm a little confused about that, but I'm still gonna go with A tier on this. I like this idea. Personal AI investment advisor for crypto. Let's go. Okay, uh, manage cryptocurrency. Like what? How? I, no. I don't know, you guys. This this one seems this is trash. That's D tier. I'm going D tier on that. Dev tools for AI agent collaboration. Okay, I mean, AI agents are really com complicated. Um, dev tools are fun uh, because we, as developers, we kind of scratch our own itch with dev tools. I think it's a competitive space, but there is a lot of money in it, of course, because you're supporting developers, which are like a high paying job that work on high value projects. Uh, so in terms of the sales funnel, I kind of like selling to developers because there's a lot of money in this space. Um, but I, again, a lot of competition because lots of developers know what itches uh, they need to scratch. AI agents work on a single project with features for task coordination, debugging, and performance tracking. Not bad. I'm going B tier on this one because uh, difficulty but potential upside is big and newness of AI agents and, and sort of hype this year around agents. Next idea, open source AI deployment platform. Whoa, okay, plug and play toolkit for developing open source AI model, deploying, huge, huge. I mean, open source is incredible, right? DeepSeek, I just pulled this onto my laptop. I'm like doing awesome stuff. It compares with GPT, but you're not gonna run like anything over uh, 30 billion parameters. You're not gonna get running on your laptop at all. Even anything over 8 billion, I, I think good luck actually using that on your machine, unless it's a total beast. So if I could just deploy this somewhere and use it as a plug and play, uh, why not, right? And you have a lot more control over it. So yeah, I, I could see this being really big. Now there are a lot of services that do this, like uh, ten, Base 10 is one you can look into if, if you're interested in this. I think it's a great idea. I think it's young enough that this could be big. I'm going A tier on this one. Compliance as a service, CAS for SNBs. Okay, lots of uh, acronyms going on here. Uh, CAS for SMBs. If you don't know what that means, like <laughs> it's 2020. Come on, kid. Okay, an AI-driven platform that automates compliance and auditing. Compliance and auditing. Good for small to medium businesses. I like small businesses. There's a lot of small businesses in America or Canada or wherever wherever you are. There's uh, a ton of small and medium businesses. Most businesses are small businesses. Uh, focusing on industries like finance or healthcare, we got a niche in here. Okay, like this is, you gotta pick one, right? So, okay, it's, it is or, I get that. Okay, finance or healthcare with strict rates. So regulations are hard, but that makes sense. SMBs, I just, what is, what is small? Oh, small, medium businesses. Okay, so yeah, compliance is, is massive. I'm, oof, I like this idea, but it is not specific enough. So I'm still going A tier on it, but it is it is not specific to be super tier. 
not specific enough. Okay, AI agent for customer support ticket resolution. Yes, we, yes, the world needs this. This, oh my God. Like if Ticketmaster, like, yeah, Ticketmaster would, this would notably impact their, um, their rating. Ticketmaster, let me just, let's just see there. Do we have a rating? I wanna see a rating on these guys. 2.5 stars, Google Play Store. Uh, that's pretty rough. Apple Store, five stars. Uh, okay. I wanna see like company rating. This is what I'm talking about. Look at that, look at this. Okay, so they could, uh, clearly Ticketmaster needs some sort of ticket resolution uh, tool. Um, and, uh, autonomously handles tier one customer support tickets. Integrating with platforms like Zendesk, Freshdesk, okay, massive. And I, I know I focused on Ticketmaster because like I'm, I'm an idiot and I just saw Ticket and concerts and whatever. But, but yeah, this this is like, this is massive. Pick a more specific industry. Um, I know someone doing this in Toronto. Um, he's got like an AI kind of um, like a help interface for AI like support. Huge, right? So you know what this is s tier this is a super idea i love i love this one yeah let's get it secure ai app store for niche markets all right so app store i knew this would come up because request for startups the very first one is a secure ai app store and os layer that sits on your computer it should protect user data um wow that's a pretty specific idea so i'm not surprised that made it into our presentation here so a lightweight ai app store for a specific niche Okay, that ensures data privacy. You know, I'm just, I'm just not, um, it's my first time thinking about this, hearing about this. It's top of the list for YC, but I'm going C tier. I just think it's hard. I think it's a really hard idea and I don't think there's gonna be many winners. There'll be like, what, like one winner? or something I, I don't really get it all right we're about halfway there we got a good distribution here we got a super idea we got some trash ideas we got some i'm not too sure about i'm gonna drink some more green juice fueling me to to wisdom today next idea interface cost optimization dashboard a tool that helps ai startups monitor okay <laughs> you build a tool for ai startups uh, i already don't like it monitor and optimize inference costs yeah okay but you know dash i don't know i don't i just no nope i do not that is d tier uh b2a whoa uh business to agency marketplace another acronym uh, put that in your repertoire. B to A marketplace for AI agents. Huh. Okay, a marketplace where AI agents can buy, sell, and exchange services. Okay, okay. Compete with agent-friendly billing and contract APIs. What? I ah uh, ah. Uh, oh my God. This this to me is like a this is a 2026 idea. Um, maybe 2027. I don't know how this snuck into 2025 because I am, I am not. Wow. I don't know. There's something here. There's something here, but it's 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 too it's too fresh for me. I'm going C tier. I don't follow yet that. Personal AI legal advisor. I like it for contracts. Yeah. Yes. Like, give me, yes, give me this. Reviews and explains the legal contracts. That would be incredible. There's lots of legal issues, I think, with this. Uh, but I think that's nothing that couldn't be handled by a few like check boxes. And you could also involve actual people um, to sort of like, uh, you could have like tiers of pricing. So I, I love this. Yeah, this is a great company. It's like a pretty, pretty boring business, you know, boring company. Boring companies are great. A tier, A tier of that. Doggy sign 2.0 for freelancers. Okay, I'm gonna hop back to YC. This is another obvious one right here. Doggy sign 2.0. They even they even like called it that. Um, they're looking for they're looking for a document. Doggy 2.0. Okay, so this is straight from the idea um, farm of YC. So I'm sure this will. I'm sure this is smart. Streamlined AI powered document signing and management tool for freelancers and small businesses. Yeah, auto generate contract templates, explain clauses, auto fill repetitive details. It, I'm going A tier. I don't know. I don't know. I can't. I would S tier it just because, you know, people smarter than me like it, but it's obviously a great idea, but it's not super to me. It's not a super tier. Okay. Oh, here we go. Vertical AI agent for content creators. Wow. I just love the, just the sound of that is like, 
oh man, I'm a content creator, AI agents, vertical, like, yeah, let's go. Um, an AI agent uh, assists content creators, okay, automating tasks like video editing, yes, script generating, thumbnail creation, audio. Uh, yeah, I yes, I would like this. And, and I'm, I'm like a trash YouTuber, right? I'm like bottom of the barrel right now. So, um, mid barrel, lower, lower tier, lower barrel. I'm, I'm getting there. I think, I think this channel's going places. Broadening my perspective. There's a lot of creators, um, and they are going to, they are going to need tools like this. And there's already a lot of solutions. So in terms of competition, I see competition is pretty high in terms of upside. Upside's also pretty high, uh, but it's hard to sell us creators. But on the other hand, the value is real. I got mixed feelings about this. Um, so I know what my heart is telling me. It's B tier. AI powered contract management for startups. All right. Uh, yep. Create, manage, analyze, legal contracts. We already kind of had this one automated vision control. Yeah. That I mean the other, we already talked about this, but now the only difference is it's for startups. Uh, why would you, why would you build a tool for startups? Uh, you want to build for s more sustainable companies. Like I'd want to build for small, medium businesses that aren't a startup that are like a company that's just going to be around for five, 10 years, who've already been around for five, 10 years, not a company that just like appeared out of nowhere. Uh, it just, just makes no sense. I'm, oh man. Yeah, yeah. I hate this. No, I hate this one. That's a D tier. Low cost. AI data center planning tool. Okay, this is another YC one. Data center, data centers right here. Created faster and cheaper to build out infrastructure needed. Okay, we wanna build quick data centers. SaaS product, is it a SaaS product? Uses AI to optimize the planning and management of small scale energy efficient data centers. Mm -hmm. I don't see it as a SaaS product. Um, I see it as more of like a, a custom B2B thing, but maybe, yeah, I don't, I don't know about energy data centers. Yeah, any, anyone could run like a sort of little mini server data center thing. I think we're also seeing, obviously with AI, a lot of this stuff popping up, but do I like this data center planning tool? Uh, this is probably just me being dumb, but I'm C-tiering that one. Um, and I think I'm on my last idea, uh, which is a vertical AI agent for real estate agents. There's that term again, vertical AI agent, like we're doing everything. <laughs> okay. So a real estate focused AI that automates administrative tasks, like drafting contracts, scheduling showings, client communication. Yeah. Integrated with MLS listings. That's going to cost some money, but, uh, but yeah, you can pay, for, you can pay for some real estate data because your client, your customers have a shit ton of money. Yeah. I love this idea. I almost want, you know what? I'm supering it. There we go. That's my super, that's my second super idea. We got that in the headphones and, uh, we're going to get rich off of that. If you leave me one comment, tell me what you would have super tiered. Yeah. So look at all these crazy guys working away, grinding on that 2025 AI startup idea. I kind of identify with, with this dude, you know, he's got the laptop at the table, but, um, this guy on the bike, this is my spirit dude. He's got, he's got some, some hang time here and, he, and I love biking. So he's my guy. Right. So that was my first tier list video. Let me know what you think and give me a like and consider subscribing if you enjoyed it. And if you want to see another one, I liked, uh, I liked doing this. I had some fun today. So I'd love to make another one of these videos. Now, if you want to learn about AI engineering in 2025, that's what I'm focused on in this channel. I have got a course online. Here it is. You can, you can come in here and sort of read through the sections, uh, you know, Bayesian thinking. I, it's, it's a lot of really cool stuff. I think you'll get a lot of value out of it. So you can check that out. Now I'm going to leave a video here with a bunch of tech guide to get you up and running in 2025 as a remote working data professional. Uh, I think you'll have some fun watching that if you enjoyed this one. Um, thank you for watching and namaste.